Hi everybody. To clarify something, I'm not bashing, criticizing, refuting or debunking the Quran or Muslims or the part of Islam that is religion. This video is only intended to show miracle seekers that the Quran is a book of science and spiritual guidance and not a science textbook. Today I will look into a miracle claim which is the miracle of fingerprints in the Quran. Surah 75 4 says we are able to put together in perfect order the very tips of his fingers. Now I have not found any translation that says otherwise. But from this some Islamic miracle seekers deduce that the word used for fingertips bananahu can be re-reinterpreted as meaning fingerprints. Are they trying to rewrite the Quran? Applying my three truths test I will establish three things. Is this really a miracle? Is this really mentioned like that in scripture? And does it reflect reality? The first test therefore is whether we have alternative explanations for fingerprints in the 7th century CE. If we go into the history of fingerprints we see that a number of civilizations well before the 7th century knew about the uniqueness of fingerprints. The Babylonians and ancient Chinese even used them in lieu of signatures, 2000 years before anyone could even spell the name Muhammad. We see that the mentioning of fingerprints would not constitute a miracle as they were known even before the time when the Quran appeared. Result, this claim fails the truth test number one. The second test will be to see what is actually documented in the Quran. We have seen the wording. As Arabic is not a precise language and words can have dozens of meanings, let's see if this is applicable here too. If I look at the word fingertip and enter the Arabic word into a translation service, I get fingertip. If I enter the Arabic transliteration into a translation service, I push the spacebar and get fingertip. However, if I enter the word fingerprint into any translation service, it shows me a different word. Entering this word into the same translation service, I get fingerprint as expected. So why would the author of the Quran Allah, for whoever wrote it in the end, used the same word for two totally different things, especially when the word fingerprint exists in the Arabic language and was not used. Instead, the word fingertip was used, just to confuse the infidels. How can you put the fingerprints in order when the very point of this miracle claim is that fingerprints are unique? Does it make sense? Hardly. Just to check the Islamic sources and not leave anything out, even the applicable tafsir only refers to fingertips, not mentioning anything about fingerprints at all. Result, truth test number two, failed. Now for the last test, does it reflect reality? Can Allah put together fingerprints? Can Allah reconstruct or construct a human being down to the last fingerprint? Well, if you use the wording in the Quran, no. If I look for this word in the Quran, I see it appears a second time in Surah 8.12, which says, I will instill terror into the hearts of the unbelievers, smite ye above their necks and smite all their fingertips off them. Hmm. I will not comment the violence of the Sayyid, but stay on topic. If you use the word banan and re-reinterpret it to mean fingerprints, how can anyone smite off a person's fingerprints? And this is making less and less sense. Was the inventor of this miracle claim mentally challenged or a zealot who was so intent on finding something sensational that he forgot to check the consequences of his fairy tale? Well, I hate to say it, but this miracle claim fails part 3 of the truth test as well. As for the consequences of this test, it only shows that Surah 75, Ayah 6 is scripture and nothing else. It does not invalidate the Quran in any way and does not attack the faith. Thank you for your time and interest.